Imagery pop up. God bless you. I see you all. Come on. Come on in. Come on in. Sister Stephanie, there you go. I see you just pop in. <laughs> God bless you. Amen. 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 It's a good day in the Lord. It's a good day in the Lord. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. Thank you for that good evening. prepare. Our bishop is on travel um, today, and so it's, it's he'll be joining us virtually. Um, he'll be in the chat. But we thank God, and we continue to pray for him, cover him and his family. Bless the name of the Lord. And so, as we pray, Father, we want to thank you for your goodness. We want to thank you for your many blessings. We want to thank you that this is the day that you have made. We rejoice and we're exceedingly glad in it. Thank you right now, God, this day. Let the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart, thank you, Lord, let it be acceptable in thy sight. O oh, Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Thank you, Lord. Think through my mind. Speak through my vocal cords. You know what it is you want your people to hear. And we thank you, Lord. I sit down. You stand up. Oh, in the name of Jesus, I am an oracle of you. Have your way, Holy Ghost. We thank you, God, as we pray right now for this country. We pray for this state. We pray for this city. We pray for those that have been impacted in various ways by varying things. In the name of Jesus, we got some people that uh, they're still recouping and recovering from the storm. We got some people recouping and recovering from bereavement. Just many different things that's going on. This this city uh, recouping and recovering. Father God, we just bless your holy name and we give you praise, glory, and honor. Hallelujah. So come on in. We say welcome. Welcome into this place. Hallelujah. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Into this chosen vessel. You desire. God bless you. I see my bishop has joined us. I see his beautiful sister, Sister Lonita, has joined us there. And Reverend Johnson, God bless you all. And everyone else that's coming on. We thank God for you. Amen. We offer up this praise. Unto your name, as we offer up this praise unto your name, as we offer up this praise unto your name, as we offer up this praise unto. We offer up the praise into the name of the Lord as we offer up. Your name, your name, your name. As we offer up this praise unto your name, your name, your name, your name. As we offer. Thank you, Jesus. As we offer up this praise unto your name. As we offer up this praise unto your name. Thank you, Jesus. As we offer up this praise unto your name. Your name. Hi, Sister Sharon. God bless you. 
God bless you, woman. God, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. 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 We want to thank and praise God for you all and thank praise God for Amen. All that He's doing. Those that you're joining us. Um, Sister Sharon, all the way up from Charlotte, North Carolina. Amen. Amen. And Sister uh, uh, we got Sister Joy and Sister Stephanie in the house with us today. We thank God. We got the young people that uh, they started their Christmas holiday, uh, their Christmas rehearsals. We thank God for them. They're working on that. And those that provide it for our young people, we thank God for them. Amen. Amen. And I guess everyone that's come on, we thank just appreciate God. and thank God that as you come on, please like and please share. Help us get the uh, the word out. Amen. Amen. Again, our bishop is on travel. He had to go see about his lovely mother, Reverend Johnson. And we are pleased to say that. Amen. She was in the hospital, but she has been released from the hospital. And we thank God for her continued recuperation. Amen. And we thank God for the strength of those that are there to assist her and, and help her through this process. We also want to say that on Sunday, which is the fourth Sunday, we're having our pink out Sunday. So we want y'all, if you're close by, come on in and wear pink. Wear pink with us. We have a looking forward to a wonderful uh, service on where we, for those, who is, we all know that October is Breast Cancer Awareness um, month, but it's also Domestic Violence Awareness yes. Month. And there was a few more things I heard them talk about is um, people with disabilities and vo yeah. vocational. Dis mm -hmm. It's a lot of different it's things, lot. but um, but we are most, uh, on Sunday, we'll be highlighting those survivors who've come through, amen, and who amen. have dealt with or dealt with um, uh, issues as it relates to their path, but we want to thank and praise God for each and every one. You, you, and especially you. We have our um, Bible study today. We're dealing with deliverance. Um, we we started off on last week talking about a plea for deliverance. And this, this week we're going to be dealing with deliverance. Uh, we're going to continue on that path. And we're dealing with um, this today. We're going to be dealing with Isaiah. And Isaiah... Uh, uh, is uh, as you all know, the book, and we are in the book of Isaiah, and we all know that Isaiah was a major prophet, mm -hmm. and he dealt with Israel during a certain time and a certain place. But we know there are certain words of life and certain prophetic words that, uh, 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 uh and encouraging words of exaltation that I, the, 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 the prophet Isaiah spoke that was. Uh, taken and, and recorded that when sometimes you read it today you there, there's there's life that comes through that thing mm -hmm. amen you 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 feel you could you 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 just as if he looked down and saw what was going on today amen. and he wrote mm -hmm. that's the life of the word of God mm -hmm. the life of the word of God is that's why People, they can talk about our Bible, and we can say different things about our Bible, and a lot of what they say may be right. Mm -hmm. But I've seen God use this word yes. for my advantage. My advantage. My. I've seen him, I've seen the word work yes. to my advantage. Amen. I don't get caught up. Hallelujah. I'm going to let you know. Hey, my sister Kathy, all the way from the DMV. God bless you, my sister. I don't get caught up. Amen. You hear me, church people, yes, saints of God, Lord. people of God. I do not. Mm -hmm. Sister Sherry, God bless you. I do not get caught up. If I see you come on, I do like to try to acknowledge you because you can be anywhere. And we just thank God that you all. Drop by, even if you stop by for a little while, come back for the replay. I just thank God those are this interactive Bible study. But I don't get caught up with the 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 what we call the when people want to debate mm -hmm. what the stuff. I don't get deep in. Now I, I don't mind a healthy conversation. Don't get me wrong. I I I can take a healthy conversation mm -hmm. when people want to know when you're exploring when you're digging and. I get that. I, I get that. Mm -hmm. 
I get a healthy conversation. And we should never be afraid of healthy conversations when it comes to talking about the word and understanding the word, understanding the Bible, understanding the genesis of the word, understanding how about the exegesis and when you want to exegete it. Uh, uh, isergy and, and when you want to understand context where you're talking about the historical context and you're talking about the spiritual context, the scripture, whatever it is there's nothing wrong with a healthy conversation, that's what Bible study is about, Amen. it's the study of the word, Amen. but my problem comes from when people take up, a, they want to just demonize, now I've used that word, they want to demonize your thoughts about the Bible, they want to yeah. they want to, they yeah. think they so right. They just, yeah. you know, yeah. to the to the, the like they the only one in this whole world. See how you gotta pull off the <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I love it. 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 I make these little concessions, Dr. J. And then they get to pull it off and pull it on. <laughs> but 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 what I wanna say is when 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 we talk people wanna demonize you. In your thoughts. I have a problem with that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like with anything else, and we're just like with anything else. When it comes to understanding uh, and studying, the Bible says this it says, study to show thyself approved unto God. God bless the cookers. Amen. It says, study to show thyself approved unto God. A workman. That's Timothy, right? Mm -hmm. It says that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. And you, those of you who are teachers, former teachers, uh, uh, you all know the benefit that stuff, you got to keep on studying. You got something you got to do, but they call forever learning. Mm -hmm. Forever growing. If you think that you done got to a place that you know everything uh -oh. and you feel that you at the place where nobody can't tell you nothing else, Ooh. I'm letting you know you're in a dangerous place. Dangerous. You're in a dangerous place. If you if you in a place where you think you got all the answers, you are in the you in a dangerous place. If you can we at uh, Isaiah the 26th chapter, that's where we're gonna be. Yes, um, but and do y'all hear me what I'm saying? So when I when we sit here and we discuss and we talk and we dig out, we are, we're in Bible study. That's why I take issue with the people when you when you when I, you know I appreciate you all when you interact in the in the comments and when you you know come forth in Bible study and we talk. Is that all right? I, I have an appreciation for that because it's, it, and so this is how we study. This is how we go. You can't be afraid of the you can't be afraid of the world. You can't be afraid to ask a question. And I'm not afraid to tell you if I don't know, I don't know. Let me look it up. Let me look a little deeper. Or let me let me get a little more reference. I'm not afraid of that. And neither should you be. Amen. Because we are believing. I don't I don't not afraid of good commentary. But I'm also not afraid to, you know, when I'm studying something, and if it don't align, and if it don't go, I can say, okay, now that's that's a, a little far foot. Now that don't that that little far. I can I can say that too. Mm -hmm. Amen. Somebody. So you have to know, and when you are like that, you find that you're not caught out there. That's right. You're not caught out there. That's right. It don't matter who knocking on your door. And saying you want you can you can open the door and you can look at them and you can you somebody come to you and they hand you something you can just hand it right back and just say let me show you something. That's right, 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 right. You have that ability. Yes, you do. Because the God is is has has blessed you all with the, with a wealth of knowledge and we just want to thank God for that. So today we're dealing again, like I say, with deliverance and we're in Isaiah, the prophet Isaiah. As I said before, had a lot of good things to say about deliverance. He had a lot of good things to say. And the things he said, it was almost as if he was in this. Some of the things, stuff he said is if he was right now watching. If he was right now watching. And so we'll start with this 26th verse. Begin 26th chapter starting at the first verse. And I'm right now I'm reading out of the uh, New Living Translation. And I might switch over to uh, King James in a minute. But it says, in that day, mm -hmm. 
Everyone in the land of Judah will sing this song. Mm -hmm. Okay? This is uh, 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 the, 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 the prophet talking. Mm -hmm. Our city is strong. Mm -hmm. Now, I want y'all to... Now, I want... <laughs> this is why I said it's amazing sometimes the way this thing is written. Mm -hmm. Now, for all of you all that have had that if that you've witnessed certain tragedy or certain incidents or certain things that have happened in different communities what has been the mantra of each of those communities when albany went through those that those tornadoes and when albany went through the um flood, flood uh, even even so even more recently mm -hmm. hurricane michael and those tornadoes it was one thing that we said what was it? What was the mantra? Do y'all remember what it was? Yeah. Albany Strong. Okay. Do y'all remember that? Okay. Albany Strong. Okay. And remember when when that, that when the bomb hit uh uh, uh was the, the that bombing hit over there in Boston? Mm -hmm. They had the mantra yeah. Boston Strong. When that different, you always hear people say Tallahassee Strong. Yeah. You know, people say they put the meaning that. All those calamity has happened. We're coming back and we're coming back strong. Yeah. We're going to speak life. And they speak. Yeah. And they say that this is the world. Now, this is not the church. This is how the world. You look, you look, go, oh, y'all go Google it. And you'll see where well, all the different places thing happen. They'll come back and they say such and such strong. Yeah. Whatever it was, you know, um, uh, where, where the, where the uh, uh, mass shootings were occurring. So and so strong. They was began to speak life. They're saying because they began to speak and they say we need to be strong in this. We coming back strong. And it's so interesting that in this book, this is it's, like I said. It's, it's if Isaiah was looking today, he's talking about a whole different time, a whole yeah. different thing. But he said our city is strong. Mm -hmm. Now why are you gonna say that? Because he know they've been attacked. They've been this and they've been that. They've been this and they've been that. But he said, our city is strong. We are sound, surrounded by the walls of God's salvation. Mm. And I'm going to put this to you all. And when we study this thing and when we bring this thing, hey, my sister Mary. And when we, when we, when we talk about this, when it says, we are surrounded by the walls of God's mm -hmm. salvation. If you allow it to, the news will have you so mad that you don't want to go out your house. Because they will make you feel there's a boogeyman and there's something happening behind every nook and cranny. Like, oh, Lord, can I go to the store? Oh, Lord, can I do this? Oh, you go to the bank. Somebody may be there to rob it. Oh, you go down there. Somebody, you know, they went to shooting over there. You know, we just had a home cut. Oh, Lord, are we going to be able to have another home? I mean, you just it's just one thing after another thing after another thing. But it's not being afraid. It's, but that's the fear. It's the fear factor. And, 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 and you know what? The truth of the matter is, if you're not careful, you will be, you you will. Will be fearful. Yes, you will. But can we all just, if we all just stay in our houses, because you got some people, they order in stuff. No. They don't even want to go out. They, you know, they ordered in the grocery. They ordered in the food. They are, they don't, you know, because they are so fearful. We gonna all have that little complex. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, right before the shooting that just happened at Albany State, mm -hmm. my son had just called me. Right before this happened, he wanted to go over to Albany State with some of his friends to hang up, and I was about to let him, but then something said, "Do not let him go." What you so, say? So I called him back and I said, no, you cannot go. And he got upset Set. with me because be right. he couldn't go. But right. when I woke him up the next morning for him to go to work, I said, now, ain't you glad your mama told you not to go? And what comes, and this is the part, when you are led of the Lord, mm -hmm. sometimes you do stuff you don't even understand why you're doing it. Amen. Sometimes yeah. you may, you may, sometimes you'll get a stop sign and you go like, well, what, well, why is that? But, but, but some people have gotten those things and they overrode it, yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. much to their regret. Yeah. Right so, aren't you glad you listened? Mm -hmm. 
Cause you never know where. Mm -hmm. Cause see that bullet hit all those kids. All the, yep. And exactly. somebody's child died. Yep. Somebody's grandchild. Yes. But you know what? This is like what um, Sister Stephanie was talking about. My nephew was in high school. I think he was in the tenth grade. And it's a little club that they had opened up for the teens in Miami off of Seventh Avenue. Oh yeah. And he wanted to go because his friends was there. And we was having a little cooking out at, right. my, sister, at my sister's house. And he wanted to go. And his mama said no. But then when he asked his dad, he said, he was like, why he can't go? Listen. And the Lord spoke to me. He said, if he go, he ain't coming back home. Jesus. And I told my sister and her husband, I said, no. I said, you want to go? I said, well, you can't go. I'm telling you not to go. That night, two of his best friends got killed. Listen. And one of the girls was pregnant. Listen. And see, this is the With whole key. People. But see, sometimes... You know, I thank God for the spirit of discernment. I thank mm -hmm. God for the spirit that he's, when you the Holy Spirit knows things that we don't know all the time. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes, but like I say, it's not to live in fear. We're not to live in fear, but we're to live in faith. We're to live in, you know, in God's protection. Yes. Order. Yes. Amen, somebody. And, yes. and that's, I'm telling you. But you know, uh, uh, Kiara Shear and her mama sang that song, The Safest Place yes. in the Whole Wide World. Is in the will of God. Do y'all not understand? Do you not know that you have to set yourself up in a way that, especially in these times, yes. when everything you tell, so much of what you hear is negative. Yes. So many people are being ruled by other things other than the Lord. Yes. They are being pushed and prodded and 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 and, and, and not adhering and influenced in a negative way. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you something. We sang a song on Sunday that said, God's not dead. What? God's not dead. He's yet alive. And we, what they say, I can, you know what? Feel him in my hands, my feet. I can feel him all over when I know that he's yet alive. And do you think God has sleep? He doesn't sleep. He doesn't slumber. Thank God he don't sleep. Thank God he don't sleep. He say he doesn't sleep. He does. That's Psalms 121. He never sleeps. He never slumbers. The God who keepeth us, who keepeth Israel. Never gets tired. Never gets tired. Looking tired as we are. He ain't got no insomnia. Listen, he we can't compare us. So we are giving God praise and give. And so when he says we are surrounded by the walls of God, listen, I want y'all to take aim at that. The, new, the, the King James Version says it this way. It says, it says, we have a strong city. Salvation will God appoint the walls and bulwarks. Mm -hmm. I like it the way the New Living Translation, where he says, we're surrounded. We understand what that means. We're surrounded by God's salvation. Y'all yes. got to understand that. That means everywhere you go, you're surrounded. You're surrounded. He said, I give my angels charge over you, you to keep you in all your ways. Imagine that. Y'all can't see him, but imagine y'all being surrounded. Oh, mm. Pastor, you. Oh, but when you this say that, maybe think about my daughter. She said, Danny, can you see God? That's, that's a good question. Now I'm asking you a question. Can you see the wind? Mm. That's it, but you yeah. feel him, don't you? I say, but every now and then you feel that wind come by. Yes, right. because, because you know you surround it. You're surrounded. And this is the whole key. That's why they call it faith. We walk by faith and not by sight. We don't see. But boy, do we know. Yes. I'm glad we can't Woo. see. But, but do we know? But I do see him. How I see him? I see him in you. Yes, right. I see him in you. When you look in the mirror. I see him when I look in the mirror. Yeah. I see him. I see him. I can feel him moving through the trees in the wind and the breeze. Yeah. You know, I want the stars, the sun. I see him in the atmosphere. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I see his work, the handiwork of God. I see it. I know. And all I'm saying to you is when this book says we are surrounded, I, I want y'all to get this. I want y'all to feel the presence of the Lord in, in when you when you know you're moving, you're surrounded by God. You. That you're surrounded by the walls of his self, his deliverance. We're surrounded. Does that mean anything to y'all? I want y'all to internalize that. Yes. Amen. We're in Bible study. It says, open the gates to all who, who are righteous. Mm -hmm. Allow the faithful to enter. Oh my God. Allow. Now listen. Allow. Listen. 
Listen. Everybody go make it allow. Allow. Allow it. That means if you can, if you have to allow it, faith over fear. Oh yeah, awareness and common sense is a must. Without a doubt. And without a doubt. And that's where that 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 listening to the Spirit of God. When you hear something that say, no, don't go. Or don't, or, or you know what? Turn this way. Turn this way. Mm-hmm. A- absolutely. Mm-hmm. That means you're in, you're in, you're in, you're in the, uh, 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 tune in tune Spirit. with the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'll tell you, I don't, I don't, I don't test in the sense of where we, you know, like when the enemy took uh, Jesus to a high place and say, oh, go ahead and jump on over. He going to catch you. Okay. You're right. <laughs> okay. He said, but this is what the devil, this is what he did. Those are his schemes. He said, those are his schemes, you know. Oh, God, you know, he got, God got you. Wait a minute. Yes, he does. But do I, is God saying do this? Though? That's right. Somebody will say, sometimes they say, oh, you can go into the club and you can, you can, you can witness in the club. I certainly can if God direct me that way. But I ain't got no business up in there. If I'm not, I'm saying if that's not my purpose, if what he's pushed me through, yes. if I'm just trying to go and just prove something to you. No. That's right. No, that, 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 that don't make no never mind. One of the chief stories, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this here. I'm one of the stories that I remember from a documentary. Y'all know, y'all know Ike Turner. Yeah. I, I, I don't start laughing, but it's just a step. <laughs> but if y'all know Ike Turner, Ike Turner is in his documentary. God, God bless you, my sister Beverly. And Ike Turner, he he in his documentary, he had after he had gone through all what he had gone through, he had gone through a space where he was uh, 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 in sobriety. Yes, right. He had a he was he was a bad addict and. He was in sobriety. That means he had gone. He had gotten his strength. He was able to resist it. He was doing. He was getting stronger, getting better. He had won Grammy. He was getting back himself back. But what happened was he had. There was a. a, 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 a I was a family member who was who was on uh, a, a crack real bad, and he was in. And they were in a crack house, and he said, "Well, I'm. We gonna. He's gonna go in there." And get, get him, get him, get him out. and get him out. The problem was he wasn't strong enough, wasn't strong enough. to go in and get him out. And he wasn't in God's will we, because God didn't tell him to go in there. He that's what to say. Cause see, this is this is what happens sometimes. I heard, um, and I'm using these 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 things because this is these are real world examples mm-hmm. of you know he would I believe with all his intent yeah. and with all he meant well. I believe it meant, but if God, sometimes if God's not directing you and giving yes. you auspice, because if God direct, he's going to let you go in and come out. Yes. But see, he knew, and, 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 and he, he, he should have because he wasn't stronger. He went in, mm-hmm. he stayed in, yes, right. and he died yes, right. later on because he got re, he, he, he went back and got re You know, Pastor, I, I, can, I can testify to that because when I, when I told him I was tired, of being sick and tired of crack, and I pray. Uh-huh. And I said, and if you God, you take this taste out of my mouth right now. Start throwing up and everything. Purging. Purging. Here's the test. Here's the test. I went back on the 15th when it was selling that, and I stood there. As soon as I smelt it, I said, okay, I'm done. You know, everybody said, how you just do it like that? Because I was tired. Mm-hmm. When you have a made up mind in your yes. lifetime and say you're done, but you got to be strong. You got to be strong and, and know your limit. Mm-hmm. And know, and know, if we want to be real, and you have to understand and be real with yourself That's the and not fool yourself. <laughs> and see, some people, the God has brought them a long way. Mm-hmm. And you ought to know. Mm-hmm. Look, on the days I fast, I need to, don't, I need to, you know, that God has put, I need, I sometimes, if it's a, Sometimes I don't need to tip myself. Do go in the, you know what I'm saying? No Sometimes I just need to just just go. because and you know what I'm saying. I just you know day by day, moment by moment. If that's what you know, and then there are certain times when you when you real solid and you can go anywhere, do anything, and you straight. But then there are certain times when okay, I'm not quite as straight. So I need to you know what I'm saying. But that's being real. 
Right. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like uh, 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 Sister Mary said, sometimes you gotta understand that common sense thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But he, but it, and by that same token, I heard, um, and I know I'm using a lot of secular names, but Chaka. When she was making the point, she said when she was managing her sobriety, one of the things, but she was still in the business of having to go to clubs and having to sing and have, see, but she, but the way she did, she would go at the point in time she had to sing and would leave. Immediately. That's what she said. I have to get, I leave immediately. I couldn't, stayed. I couldn't hang around. I could not people. stay. Mm -hmm. I had to, with the strength that God gave me, had to manage and get up, get up out of there. Does that make sense? You couldn't, but that's somebody who mean business. Mm -hmm. You know that you can't, if you're not, you sometimes you can't hang with, you may love those friends, mm -hmm. but they you may have, have you move. have to let them go where they gotta go. Bishop said it's mm -hmm. You gotta let them go. Mm -hmm. If they didn't, if they're not going the same way, because you know you can't play with sometimes influence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You cannot. You can't have to fight with influence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, listen, it's sometimes good. you got you gotta like, wait a minute. I, it's just best for right now while I build up. Because mm -hmm. there'll come a point and there'll come a time you will be. But you got to be to thy own self be true. Mm -hmm. God can do anything. Yes, and can. God has the ability to and has done everything. But how we allow God to work in us, mm -hmm. that becomes the thing. Yes. And so in this, he said he is a, God's our wall of salvation. Mm -hmm. He is our strong tower. But he has not he, he gives us wisdom on how to govern ourselves in this space. Mm -hmm. Can I get an amen, somebody? Amen. 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 Now this amen. part, in verse 3. Now this is what I want y'all to, this is, I think, is going to be the highlight of tonight. I want y'all to live what it says. It says, this is what God says. Mm -hmm. Thou will keep thee in perfect peace Listen, y'all say that aloud. Who's what? Mine. Is what? Sickness. Oh, my God, today. Mm. Pastor preached on Sunday, Bishop preached on Sunday about what is stinking thinking. Well, that's, that's and knowing how to, and you know, and governing your thoughts. Mm. And washing, being washed with the word. Am I, am, I, am, I, am, I, am I talking right up in here? Yeah, right. Am I talking right? Am I talking right? It's, it's, it was something that we understand. He said, I'll keep you now. Mm -hmm. If you, <laughs> if you keep it, your mind. Your mind. mind. Mm -hmm. Now I need somebody to talk to me. Get, to let's care. deal with this. <laughs> because we got a lot of us got loose minds. And I don't care how long you've been saved. Come on. And I don't care how you know how 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 much you shouted on Sunday. I don't care what going on. Tell me right now. We are we in Bible study. Why do we keep our mind stayed on Him? Now 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 I know. Come on, cause we ain't, all of us ain't gonna have our head in the Bible all day long. No, no we ain't. You're not. I'm not been wondering where it was supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be real. How do you do it? Because now you say he will keep us in. And I want y'all to look at that word. Perfect. Perfect. Now remember, you know, that peace thing, that peace thing is a big thing. Because Jesus said, my peace I give you. That's perfect peace. Not as the world give it, but I give it to you. So let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. So he's saying to you right now, whose mind is that? So how do we govern our mind in this space? Open. Protect. Open. We have, oh, yes, you say, Dr. J. Protect your peace. Protect. But how do we do that? Let's talk logically. Because your peace was being attacked. Mm -hmm. Your peace was being attacked. My peace was being attacked. Your peace was being attacked. Mine always been attacked. Mm -hmm. But it's being attacked. But just because it being attacked don't mean nothing. Not allowing certain things to get in your ear. But how do you say that? But how do, what, what, what that do? Me, me, I stay when I'm home and I know like things going on around me. I do a lot of YouTube and I, I try to stay in the word. I got the word on my phone. I got three Bible apps on my phone. And when I feel my mind wandering somewhere, I'm like, Jesus. okay, Holy Spirit, Great. come on. So you deliberately wheel yourself back in. Mm -hmm. With the word. How do you do it, Sister Stephanie? I walk away, uh, um, like I say. Um, I'm blocked the door. <laughs> 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 I 
if I have to. No, she said she walked away. I said I blocked the door. Yeah, I block it out. No, I said I blocked the door. You can't walk. I'm staying in the way. I'm gonna follow you. You. Uh -uh. I pick up my phone and I go find something dealing with God on my phone. Let me tell you. I'm gonna tell y'all a story, Bishop. You on that? You on that? Come to you, no. brother. But I'm gonna tell y'all a story. This is a true story. This is show as y'all. Y'all, but this is a true story. It's early, early in Bishop and our marriage. Bishop, you on? You can save me. But early. <laughs> <laughs> early, early in Bishop in our marriage, um, and I remember, you know, he, he he would, you know, he was a young minister and all, and I'm, you know, and you know, I'm a young mother. I got children, and so everything I do is important, you know, because I don't have these children and and they aggravate me. But everything I do <laughs> is important, and so we was a Sunday morning. And I remember he was getting ready. He had to do, I think he was, because he has to teach Sunday school. He had something he had to do. But it was something he wasn't, and you know he probably was wrong. It was something he wasn't, <laughs> it was something he wasn't doing right or something I need attention about or something. But I mean, because I, he did just what you said, Sister Stephanie, because he has this thing that you can't argue by yourself. You know what I'm saying? You can go ahead, but if I don't engage with you, you can't argue by yourself. So he'll practice that thing where he'll just walk away. But no, I wasn't gonna have that because what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm following, I'm gonna, I'm following him through the house. I'm, I'm, I'm following him because he, he tried to do just that, but I said I blocked the door. Sister Stephanie, I walk, I'm walking behind him and I'm making my point. I'm just coming behind. I'm walking behind, and I never forget. He just, and Bishop, I don't know if he's still on here, but Bishop said I walk, and Bishop turned around. And he, and I was also I don't whatever I was doing. And then he turned around, he said, he said, I rebuke you say that. <laughs> trying to come yeah. over me. Yeah. I could feel it. Yeah. I could, I could, I could, I would sit there and the thoughts, pity party thoughts, mm -hmm. wrestling, mm -hmm. with thoughts. wrestling with thoughts. Anybody ever had tried? Yeah. It was a pity party. Mm -hmm. yes. yeah. And I'm going to tell y'all, it was righteous. And what I mean by that was, it wasn't wrong what I was thinking because it was life. Yes. It was life and it was life that was happening. So I was feeling some kind of way. And listen what I'm telling what I mean by that, Brother Cooper. What I said, it was righteous. Meaning that, you know, the it was a truth of what I was thinking. There were true thoughts. Mm -hmm. But they were thoughts that were taking me down. Mm -hmm. God bless you, Poppy. That's a lie. But Pastor, Pastor, Pastor Raymond Stuckey, all the way from Middletown. Yes, sir. I found out even at work. I, I don't find love working by myself. Mm -hmm. When I'm working, she knows I'm playing my gospel all day long. That's another thing. Because the Bible says, sometimes oh, the I'm packing, when you do I'm packing, I have to put my ruler down because I get happy in the spirit. Listen. And then I can't, and I don't let interference now trigger my, my head, my thoughts. Listen. I, I can see it coming when it's coming like, okay, here it come again. Yeah. Now I'm going to start singing some songs. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, the, you know, um, y'all, we got to arm ourselves. 
yeah. with how to survive in this space. Mm -hmm. Because I do believe the enemy is trying to work overtime. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. I, I like that. Mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. To try to that. discourage, mm -hmm. to keep us in despair. Mm -hmm. And the Bible say even sometimes the very let. That means those are you gotta you gotta be on your guard mm -hmm. because he said because your adversary because there is an adversary. He have no he have no respect to person. But th there is an adversary, mm -hmm. and this is the thing: your ad the adversary can take on many forms. Yeah. Uh -oh. It's anything that keeps your focus from you moving. Thank you. Anything that keeps you from being moving in a positive vantage point. Y'all not hearing me. Gotta go to work. Y'all hear me? The distraction. I see, sir. Okay. Two white. Y'all hear me? Anybody, anybody, anybody in the house? Anybody, anybody on the line? Can I get a witness? Somebody say, can I get a witness? Can I get a witness? Can I get a witness? Yeah, I, can, can I, get a witness? I, I, I want the world to know Amen. that God says in his word, he will keep us and we are kept in perfect mm -hmm. peace. Through all distractions. He's Throughout still, all distractions. He still will keep us. He will keep us. He will keep us in perfect peace. Now, but I want to get you that word perfect. Mm -hmm. Perfect, that means that something is perfect, it can't get no better. Mm -hmm. It can't. When something is perfect, it's, 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 done. it's, it's, it's done. It's, it's at done. its perfected place. Mm -hmm. Using the same word, but it is at that, it is at the, the place of, God bless you, perfection, Bishop Barrington. Perfection, you can't make it there. I will keep thee, thou will keep the perfect peace whose mind stayed. Stayed. And, and, and this part says, all who trust in you, all those thoughts are fixed on you. On who? Who are we talking about? Who are we talking about? What are we talking about? Speak to me. Speak, saints. Saints of God. Talk to me. Mm -hmm. Who? 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 Y'all, yeah. these yeah. are yeah. principles. Yeah. These are principles in the word of God. Mm -hmm. That if you follow them, will set you up for success mm -hmm. in every aspect of our life. Like I told y'all before, I had a righteous reason to feel the way I was feeling. But because it wasn't a lie. But even though, though they, it wasn't a lie, it wasn't productive and it didn't prosper me. They weren't thoughts to prosper me. Mm -hmm. The Bible says in Philippians 4, whatsoever things are pure, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. lovely. Mm -hmm. Now this is the part of a good report. If there be any virtue, if there be any praise, then you think on these things. Think on them. Because you can think things, it, 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 it can be truth. But it could be negative, though. Mm -hmm. What? Sense, what? At the same time. At the same it time. Could. It could be a truth. Yeah, they did you that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they was wrong. Now you get mad at them. And now you just fessed up because it's like I said. It's it, 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 yeah they did it and yeah it was. Mm -hmm. It happened. But if you gotta find a way to pop off on that though, you gotta find a way to wait a minute. I go go yeah, go for it. I remember as, as one of the uh, one of the disciples when he when Jesus told him to open up the young man's eyes so he can see, because he kept trying to wake him up and say, "Look at all these armies around us, got us surrounded. What are we going to do? We we finna die." When he told him, God, open his eyes. Jesus, that's he said, open his eyes that he may see mm -hmm. that there's Just more the that be with us. Than be with them. Look around, around. And look at they surrounded by what? What were we talking about earlier? Angels, Angels. all up in the cliffs, <laughs> yeah. all up in there, all up in. There. You know, listen when that they were Paul, and you know that had to be something to be seen. When you think you, oh my God, my God, I, you know what? I, could, could you take it if God opened your eyes and you see what's surrounding you in the oh, spirit my realm? God, my God, could y'all take it? No. no. I, I've heard of people that could they, they, they had they could see angels. I've never my daughters could see them. I, 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 I I've not seen them like that. Some people who have that being able to have the being the eyes are open to that extent that they could see in the spirit realm. 
Pass- My God, that's something to see. It happened down in Miami. My God. That I, uh, the old pastor we were going to get this demon, this lady. Cast a demon. Cast the demon out. Mm-hmm. And four angels came. Mm-hmm. Jesus. I was, I was praying. praying. I was praying the spirit. Four angels came in each four corners of the church. Big angels. Yes. And they and the and one the angels one, the one that covered the pastor. The one angel covered the pastor, pushed him out the way. My, pastor flew back. My God today. And they say, I got it. My God today. And when you saw that demon went out the back door, it went into a pool of fish. Hey, Sister Kelly, how you doing? And you know the thing about it is I believe in angelic. It's, it's, it's real. It's real. And if you believe in it. It's not hard to make the next step to know that God said, I'll give his angels charge over you to keep you. To keep you. Ain't that song? We got angels. That he, that he, it, listen, we got. We used to sing that song, angels watching over me, my Lord. Oh, but you know, my. not all day. But see, oh, God, my. those those resources yes. that God has put. Yes. But nothing trumps you. you having the peace of God. That surpass all understanding. Mm-hmm. Nothing surpassed the peace of God that guards your heart and your mind mm-hmm. through Christ Jesus. Mm-hmm. Nothing surpasses that. That God will use whatever He needs to use. Yes, I was reading this. I, 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 I looked up peace. I mean, perfect. Come on. And it says to be complete. Complete. To be whole. Whole. And fully developed. Fully developed. Totally righteous. Uh oh. Listen, we're Isaiah. The, we're in Isaiah the twenty-six. Those of you had, those of you had just come in and just see, we're in Isaiah the twenty-six chapter. I want you to repeat that, Sister uh, Lisa. Say that again. It said to be complete, complete, whole, whole, and fully developed, fully developed, totally righteous, totally righteous. And it said true followers of Christ may become perfect through His grace and atonement. And we have been, we've been redeemed. We've been redeemed from the curse of the law. We've been, we've been, you y'all know we've been redeemed from imperfections. If we just go ahead and line up with his perfectness. Let go, let go. Hallelujah. I am, I am, I am, I've been bought with the price. I have allowed myself to be aligned with all the good things and the way God would have it to be. Somebody said, well, God is sovereign and we're not trying to you know, and, and you know, we can't make God. I'm not trying to make God do nothing. I'm just existing who what God has all, already is. He's a sovereign God. He is a God who's already given us promises. The promises of God are yeah and amen. God bless you, Dr. Helen. But you know what, Pastor? Do y'all hear me? Yes. But you know what, Pastor? Even still, you know, the Lord knew we was going to make mistakes. But when that time, when that perfecting time coming, that's when we repent. We have an advocate with the Father mm-hmm. because in this human form. Mm-hmm. But see, this is the one thing that I understand. We get better and better. Well, we not, don't. Because I don't say good and good. Yeah, and do you understand? We do though. Mm-hmm. You submit. Some people, you, I'm not satisfied with just mediocrity. That's right. Right. Just barely getting along, no, no. or do just enough to get by. No, I want all the good that God, what God has, to go above, above, what, he got for above. what exceeding. I, I, when he said exceedingly, but what does that look like? A whole lot. What does that look like? That means I don't have to live from paycheck to paycheck. It never run out. Listen, I don't have to live. I, there's more to life than living from paycheck to paycheck. He wants you to go they, but the, the, if all we got to do, we just praying. If all we get stuck with just praying on how just to make it through the month, yeah, then how are we going to be blessed into that tier where then we are blessed to be a blessing? Mm-hmm. If we're just struggling just to make it. Mm-hmm. So that's where the enemy want to keep us at the struggle. Mm-hmm. You're making it, but you're just struggling to make it. God wants us in the overflow, in the abundance of, mm-hmm. we need to be blessed to be a blessing. Yeah. Not just wondering how we're going to make the next bill or how are we going to get... Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. No, 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 no. God, you want more for me than this. Mm-hmm. I thank you for me tapping in... Right over, right over, tapping right in to, tapping into Ooh. that place. Right there is a place in God. More yes, than ma'am. More than we don't have to...
to be satisfied. People of God, we don't have to be satisfied with just what we got. What's in front of us. What's in front of us. What I mean by that is, I'm not going to the point of when I say not satisfied, because Paul said I've learned in whatsoever state them be. But that's people get that as if that I, that me. Uh, uh-uh, he was saying in his in his journey, he said I've learned how to abase. I've learned how to abound. I don't get caught up in that because I know who God is and I'm on the mission of where God has placed me. Mm-hmm. That's what that means, right? Mm-hmm. And I and in that mission, this is where I have. But I know. In, 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 in looking, dealing with the people we deal with, in dealing with the, but my clients that I have to deal with, there's, certain, there's a certain uh, status quo that the enemy will try to just be satisfied at keeping you at that place. Right there. You don't have your mind set on Christ. He's going to keep you in that keep place. Keep that in that place. But then when you realize the power that's that you within have. you, that you have. Yeah, yeah. When you understand the power that's within you, that makes you go how you go better. Look for more. That's right. Your expectation is more. You expect more of God. God said you can't expect more of me than what I can do because I can meet every expectation yeah. and exceed it. Yes. Come on keep now. Going. Yes. Keep going. Keep yeah. going. Come on I can now. every expectation and I can yeah. exceed it. Yes. If you can yes. think it, I go above that. Yes. I'm a real witness. If you can think it, I go above that. Yeah. Y'all gotta understand. Yeah. You know, eyes have. If you 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 gotta understand, you cannot out go God. I listen. I look at TV and I and I and I listen and I listen. And I listen, I listen at, at, at 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 uh. And you you all do too. When you all look at the Jetsons, those those of you who came through the Jetsons age. Yes. Everything that was on the Jetsons, except for that little food thing, you is existing right, right now. now. Right, right now. now. Everything. The only thing that is not existing is when you know that thing about the food thing. But everything else, there is a level of it that exists right now. Right it's, now. it's coming up. But do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, Every existing yes, part of it is 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 been manifested. Well, how does it get manifested? It was in the mind, oh, and it came out the mind and became a became a creative thing. That's how vast and how good God is. His creative abilities, and is it just for them? No, it's for, for all those that will allow God speak. Speak it. You go there, He goes there. He said, you can conceive it. <laughs> Matter of fact, he even proved it in his word in Genesis. When they said that we're going to build a tower and we're going to go all the way up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He peeped over and he said, oh, they're going to achieve what it is they're going for. Why? Because I'm in them. Amen. And if they tap into that, un- they get into that untapped power. Oh, I'm my God. You saw they just created this this little look like the, in in the in the in the in the we're in the space age. Yes. Mm-hmm. People are going and they're seeing and they're and you. I'm telling you right now, you scared. You just will just go ahead and get in the house and sit down. <laughs> like recently, you. I'm telling you, you don't go in the, in the house and sit down. And I'm gonna let you know right now, it's gonna come for you. Cause you won't even be able to survive in this world. And people say, "Well, I'm scared of AI." You would just well get used to it. It's, it's here to stay. Good. It's here and it's here to stay. Right. And you understand, me. oh, that's the beat. Well, it may be, but it's here. Mm-hmm. You just got to know that it, whatever is here, is here. But AI has been around long, long time. time. Long time. And the fact of the matter is, you ought to know, you, I, listen, mm-hmm. this is the thing. Man's mind. Mm-hmm. People say, let me tell you something. Constantly. People and their creative ability. Let me tell you something. Some things, you and they talk about. Um, cloning, mm-hmm. and they do these little clones. Mm-hmm. And y'all say they clone, um, they clone uh, rabbits. Mm-hmm. They clone little things. They clone these things. Do y'all in your in your mind? They say it's illegal and it's not right. But do you not think that you got these little Frankenstein's right here that they they that they experience? Yes. You can know it without a doubt. In somebody's laboratory, they experience and try to how to clone right to, to how to clone a, a, a human. Yeah, they say, "Oh, that's oh, they ain't telling you, but they doing it." They doing it. 
Oh yeah, go ahead and tell somebody I said it. You yeah, proved me it. wrong. I know they're doing it. Y'all, they could they yeah, do it yeah. just they're as sure as they clone the rabbit. They, 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 they somebody going going to stretch it because they always do. Yeah. They always do. So you just well know, man is gonna they with they, wherever their mind yeah. can go, and yeah. some yeah. of them don't have no 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 what you call it no 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 barriers. Not at all. But you know you we have barriers because we have we have our barriers because we say, Oh, is that is that moral? Mm -hmm. Is that this? Yeah. Or is that we we, we put little right barriers there. on ourselves because we say, Oh, I just don't think whatever. Honey, there are some people that like, they ain't got no barriers. Not at all. At all. None. At all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But a lot of things is what what they put on TV now, it is things that happened way back then. Like he's with somebody, the Jetsons. It's happening now. Mm -hmm. Movies that they're making now, TV shows they're making now. That's for the generation to come. Yeah. Listen, everybody want to know the safest place in the whole wide world is, is, in, the is in the will of God. And as we spread this, I told you that's going to be. So you will, He will keep you. You will keep in perfect peace. He's talking to the Lord. Those whose mind is stayed on thee, you're going to do it. And I submit to you. We become those ones that we be in perfect peace. Mm -hmm. We know that we are walled in. Mm -hmm. We're in the walls of God's salvation. Amen. As we prepare the this, 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 this 755, Bishop is Amen. watching from wherever he's watching from. Hey, Bishop. Hey, Bishop. Hey, Bishop. <laughs> that I stay within my timeline. Yes. Amen. Amen. But the word of God is about, we're talking about deliverance. I want y'all to continue to pray. We're praying for our country. Yes. We're yes. praying for our state. We're praying for our communities. Mm. So I do it. believe we thank God for his mercy. Mm. Yes. Because I do believe in this space, you know, and when it came to Sodom and Gomorrah, he said, well, listen, if I can find 10, I spare. I spare. I do believe that there are some very sincere, righteous people still intervening and interceding for this country. Right now. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes, I, I believe there is a remnant that's still not moved by party affiliation, that's not moved by, that's not stuck in being divisive, that really are trusting and leaning and depending wholly on the Lord. And asking God, mercy, Lord. Have mercy, please. Mercy, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for the prayers of the righteous that avail much. And as we go before the throne of grace, we want to thank each and every one of you for your gifts. You see on the line there, if you will. Amen. The Lord touch your heart. We thank you for... Um, Sending a cash app to our uh, dollar sign or Artesian 302, or you can mail it, or you can even do give or fly. We are in that. We thanking God for those as we continue to pray. There's a morning prayer that's going forth 6 a.m. every Monday through Friday. Please, those of you who want to call in on that prayer line, there will be a group. That's interceding. So we got Sister Sharon on this line. We got Minister, Minister Nunley, Minister Clark, Bishop Edwards, the core group. They are still praying. Some, it doesn't matter who come, who go. You stay on the Lord's side. You stay on the Lord's side. That's what I say to you. So we thank God that you all will bless in town. Remember that we have our Peak Sunday. We ask everyone to wear pink. Peak Sunday. Please wear pink and be a part of it. Father God, we want to thank you for your goodness and we thank you for your many blessings. Thank you for this opportunity to engage in a prayerful and a spiritual way. Thank you for this opportunity that we've had to in this Bible study to share your word. It was about deliverance. It was about understanding how to stay in perfect peace. It was about understanding how to, what it meant to be in your walls of salvation. 
You are the God of our salvation. We look unto you, Father, and finish of our faith. Father, we thank God for, for those who've had to deal with doctor situations. Thank you for giving the doctors wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that they give the right information, that the what the right medicine. We thank God for uh, 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 your healing virtue. We thank you right now, God, for how you touch my mother-in-law to be able to come home from the hospital today. Thank you for that. Thank you, God, for those families that are dealing with bereavement. Thank you for you all comforting God. We have some people that some young people that have been impacted by some shootings that have happened recently. But God, you are yet God. And we thank you that you show yourself strong here in this community in the name of Jesus. Lord, again, we pray for our nation. We pray for our nation. We ask you to have mercy, God. Thank you for peace. Thank you right now, God, for uh, 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 giving us a chance, a merciful chance. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, you are great and you are faithful. There is none like you in all the earth. In the name of Jesus. The Lord, we appreciate you. We thank you. We glorify you. We magnify you for the offerings that were uh, given. Thank you, Lord. Bless those. Oh, God, with a wonderful, bountiful return for the seeds they plant. This is good ground, and we thank you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. And all God's people say, amen, amen, amen. amen, amen. amen, amen. As we lift up our hands to the Lord, now we bless the name of the Lord. Thank God for the victory, God for the victory. through our Lord and Savior, Lord and Savior. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Victory over sin, victory over sickness, victory over anything that's not like you. And there's some more, Sister Jane. Thank you, Lord, for saving me, for forgiving me. In Jesus' name, for filling me with your Holy Spirit. Say that. In Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. God loves you. You and especially you, and don't you. Lie. <laughs> especially you. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Love to everyone. Love you all. Amen.